Hey all, this is Andy from Sense with Andy. So today's going to be a bit different. Um, I'm going to do some stringing, stringing up my Yonix with Slinko Confidential. I was actually supposed to be doing a play test of Tier 1 um, Black Knight, but I accidentally just cut off um, half, a set of, of, uh, half a set of strings so I don't have enough for the full bed. So Slinko Confidential. Also going to be showing some doubles, and um, it's going to be really relaxed. Uh, I'm going to. Sh it's a, it was a really good match, so I just took out the breaks in between the games. But other than that, I'm just going to talk through, have a nice chill session. Let's enjoy some doubles before the U.S. Open. So here we go. Turn the volume down a bit. So we have Vlad, he's serving. Um, so Vlad is serving right now. Uh, Corey is his partner at the net. And I'm in the near court playing with Michael. So one thing to note is that uh, as we do first ball in because we play at a ridiculously early time in the morning. We play like, at like 6, 6 a.m. on a Friday. Um, Mainly because we're trying to get in some tennis before I got to go to work. It's a nice return. So I left the ball a bit short. Um, it's one thing I'm learning is when I'm I get pushed back on the backhand, I just really need to go for it, hit it hard. I don't want to hit that ball in the net. I think that was just long, but, but um, that's why I like I like Michael going for that, being aggressive with that two-hander, because it's a beautiful shot of his. So um, my review of Confidential will be coming up soon. Um, I've used it in the past, and that was awesome. <laughs> that was a really good one-hander, Vlad. He just caught the line with that one. Um, when he hit that one, that I was just like, oh, is it going to be one of those days? But anyhow, as I was saying, confidential, I've used it in the past. Um, I thought it was quite stiff to start, but it it uh, it becomes really playable after the first hour or so. So 1 0, uh, Vlad and Corey, I'm serving. So the one thing I've changed with my service motion is, uh, it might sound kind of silly, but I'm no longer bouncing the ball with um, my tennis racket. I just bounce it with uh, my hand. And when, <laughs> I, I can't remember who was saying, maybe it was two minute tennis, but he was saying that, yeah, when you're bouncing it with your tennis racket, you sort of change your grip as you're doing it. And I, I noticed that th that was always happening. So, anyhow, uh, plenty of pros do it with bouncing uh, the ball on the racket, and it works fine for them. But um, I think it just helps me uh, just keep my continental and hopefully keep my racket a bit close. So, I've been going for heavy kicks. Um, it's sort of a give and take, like... Um, my best serve on the ad side is a heavy kick to to the backhand, but that's also in the wheelhouse of, of Vlad. So I just decided to just go with my strength anyhow. That was a good return by Corey. A um, bit of analysis on that. Corey's strength is his forehand, so it's, it's really dangerous to serve it to his forehand or to his backhand because on the deuce side, because on the deuce side, if you serve it to his backhand, he could run around it um, and then hit a forehand, and he will be in good position. He'll still be in the middle of the court. That's a nice serve by me. I really, I rarely go for a pace out wide, um, but I think I, I felt like I needed to. The string is taking forever to unwind. Maybe because I'm trying to 
do analysis that unwind at the same time. But, um, I was really trying to get this video out before the US Open starts, so hopefully you guys can watch it during a lunch break or something. Because I know tomorrow I'm going to be glued on the Serena match and whatever matches happen after that. But hopefully this is not Serena's last match. So I like that song. Um, I don't know whether you guys noticed, but I, I'm really going after my second serves. Like really, not necessarily going for lots of pace, but like keep it, keeping up my racket head speed. So I'm getting good spin and, and decent pace. And I feel like that's um, sort of the evolution of my game. Like if I'm, if I have that level of confidence, then. Um, I feel I would feel like I don't need to necessarily hit a home run on the first serve, right? Or hit an ace that I could I could place it well and, and rely that I have a pretty decent second serve. I say this like my uh, my curious um, shovel backhand. Um, first of all, that was complete luck. I was going for cross court, but um, what really helped is I just did a short take back. I was stepping into the court and then trying to just bunt the ball back, and I was late, so it went down the line for a winner. So with Corey's serve, I'm really um, I'm trying to be as aggressive as possible, but not uh, aggressive with like huge swings, but um, aggressive in that I'm uh, I'm taking the ball early and trying to brush up on it. So, but he's he's been serving well to start. See, that was a mistake by me. I shouldn't have been. I like my backhand better. I feel like it's it's a more secure shot, but um, I shouldn't be running around with my forehand to hit a backhand. Sorry for the stringing noise, it hopefully, hopefully it's not too loud. Uh, nice. So, that one wasn't luck, I was actually going for it. Good return by Michael. So our pre-match strategy, I was just trying to say, Let's try and keep a, a bunch of balls in play cross court um, and hope uh, that uh, they make an error. So let's see how that strategy goes. <laughs> I think in my first service game, like we, we held, but like um, they were really just blasting the ball and they sent a message that they're not gonna just uh, Hit casual rallies, but they're really going to force us to, to to be to be on our toes and um, to look off for the, the heavy return. Just 
just uh, the replay actually on video looks in um, but I saw it out so let me know what you think uh, rewind it I think that was maybe like 920 but let me know what you think Nice shot. Yeah, that's a duck for that one. I was like, ah, you may hit my head. I was in an awkward position. But, um, while Michael is serving, I'll tell you a bit about some of the strings I'm going to be reviewing. So, great return, my Vlad. This took us by surprise. So, reviewing Confidential, right? Um, that's the one I'm stringing up right now. I'll be reviewing Tier 1 Black Knight. I think that's the one that um, Mark Sanset recommended a while ago. I'm not sure whether he still uses it. Then, what else is on the queue? Um, Signum Pro Polyplasma. And then, ISO Speed Baseline Control. And I think that's pretty much it. Now the problem that I have nowadays is I don't have that much time to play tennis. So, we're, um, okay. Well, okay, I didn't measure it out. So it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to find time to actually provide nice. reviews on yeah, all of these. Oh, I kind of missed that point. I think that was a good point if I remember correctly. One thing I like about kind of showing everything is that it's the commentary is a bit more relaxed. I feel like when you just go point to point to point, uh, you rush a bit. So one thing that um, another thing that I didn't mention was Michael. He used to use a Vcore 98, then he switched to 95 for a while because I think he liked the feel. Um, but I think he realized that the 98 is better for his game overall. He gets that's nasty and great volume like Corey. So he gets um, easier pace, easier spin. I think um, uh, he's still getting used to it a bit, so um, trying to dial it in. So he, he missed a couple balls, just a bit long. Um, but, but I'm sure like once he dials in the stroke and the or the, the, the tension that um, those those would be really good shots. So. That is good hands, Michael. I was just like, that was amazing because um, they went right at his feet and somehow he managed to get it. So I think I was laughing at this one because that was such a good serve. Um, but it's the inside drill that Vlad and I have because his shoulder slash neck is hurting him pretty bad. And whenever he has any sort of shoulder pain, he just relaxes um, his service motion. And he's always like, yeah, but he's not hitting it with any pace or anything. And yet he's bombing like uh, heavy kicksters, mixing in like slicers, hitting some flat flat ones and serving really well. <laughs> so have one of those cheap stringers. Um, okay. So that one, the mistake I made, right? Um, I should have split stuff. Like I was guessing to see where it would come and I didn't think um, I didn't think that he, 
he'd go back down the line, but if I switched up, then I would have at least had a better chance. So. That was too good. And it just that's one of those ones where it's like a single's not an okay return, and doubles, you're in trouble. One thing I was really proud of um, in my service games is that, like, for me, like, I don't necessarily want to be in these long, protracted rallies with these guys. I feel like they, they hit the ball really well. But, um, great volley, Michael. But here, like, I wasn't necessarily trying to go for too much, right? I was playing within myself. And that's um that's, that's sort of been the evolution of my game that like I realized that okay, I don't need to go for these big flat winners every time, but like, you know, just kinda keeping the ball in play, keeping it across the court. You know, sometimes that that's that's enough. So. Like right there. Like maybe Six months ago, I wouldn't have tried to go back, back and forth with Corey on that. Sorry, guys. Second serve. And Michael did a smart then, right? Unless someone unwinds and hits a, a big return right at you, just drop it in front of them because they'll have a lot less time to react. Serve, but hey, that happens. Important then is what you do in the next point, right? You throw in such a bad second serve like that, you gotta have confidence to go for it again. So, a great return by Vlad. I think he started off um, the match a little slow, like, because he was trying to go down the line, but, um, when he's nailing that cross court, I mean, that's, that's trouble. Good serve by me. Um, I finally found Corey's backhand, and Michael did a good job of uh, placing that volley. But it just shows you, like, the, the level uh, of the, the match today. Like, I had to be going for the T in order to, to, to find Corey's backhand. He's, he was moving incredibly well, and um, just lots of respect for for both of their games actually so i was, I was really pumped there because both my service games i've had to work in this match and I've watched this video before I still don't remember what the score is I think it might be on surf nice yeah, sorry, there was no idea. such a clutch volley that was like way off the court yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So that's um, a configuration we didn't get into as much. Um, I think I take uh, a lot of the blame for that one because 
I wasn't um, as aggressive coming to the net. I think I was a bit shell shocked by how hard they were hitting the ball. <laughs> but um, it was it was effective when we were both at the net. Um, but we had to, we couldn't come off of come in uh, like nonsense. We had to come in on quality. I feel like Corey has barely missed any first serves, let alone any double faults. Nice. So that point was really, really fun actually. Corey hit, um, he switched like midpoint into a continental grip and hit that forehand like with, with pace. <laughs> I, was, I was just like, what? What's going on? Another good surf. Uh, that was a close one. Good change of face by by Corey. the truth um, I normally don't get intimidated when I'm at the net but I think today or the, um, whenever this match was a couple of days ago I took like a half step back um, and this was due to how hard these guys were hitting the ball like they're blasting everything um, Corey on his forehand flat on his backhand and so it really um it really didn't give me as much time as I would have liked. But I like it. I, I've, again, I always say I'm always a fan of um, the challenge. So I will make sure to eat my Wheaties the next time. Or my basic four cereal. I kind of do basic four over Wheaties. So in the comments below, um, let me know if there are any videos that you guys would like to see. Um, I got a comment uh, requesting a video on customization, and I'll address it a little bit here, but I will do a full video on it. And I say like it's one of those things where you definitely should customize if you need it. Obviously, um, I say like it's an 80-20 game, right? 80% of your improvement it would happen for you if you just focus in on your your strokes, your strategy, um, your fitness, right? That would be like 80%. But then there's a 20% um, on equipment, right? Choosing the right equipment, choosing the right, right racket, strings, um, the, the uh, what do you call it? your customization of your racket, etc. right? So, a lot of people, or, or, or some people have said, yeah, don't customize, don't customize, but I say do both in parallel, like customize, but also work on your game, work on your fitness, work on your nutrition, right? And your mentality. Oh, good idea. So there, I, I mean, there, that, that shot, like, I, I don't feel bad. Um, and that's one where you, sh you shouldn't apologize, right? Um, I was being aggressive. I made the I made the right play. Just didn't um, bend my knees enough. So it's all good. Thank you. 
Michael has a really nice service motion. I feel like there's very few things that could go on with that. Uh, so that was, that was one where um, I made the bad play, or I made the, the bad decision of going for that ball. Because I thought he was like totally out of play. But I think I've said this in a previous video, if you make a bad decision, then just stick with it and just go go straight ahead. Like what would have been that would have been worse is if um I went for it, like I went I moved towards it and then I didn't hit the ball. So we ended up winning that point. So good serve, Michael. I think that was in. Hopefully it wasn't a double form. Not, Not sure. Actually, I think that, that other one was a double form. Uh, it's a bit unlucky. Right at the top of the net. So there it goes. I think we're down a break. In this one. That's the one. Uh, that's the one where I should make. I mean, Vlad did a good job keeping it short and low and angled. Um, and like big guys like me, right? We don't like bending down to get those balls. So I should really bend down and then just focus on on that one shot rather than trying to think two or three shots ahead. Great serve and um, good aggressive volley by Corey. Notice that's a high volley, not a smash. So I think um, what's forcing some of those long balls or the out balls is how aggressive Corey is at the net and just the, the combination of the, the, the pace and spin Vlad has put on the ball and then, oh that was too bad, too bad. Um, I think that's set actually, um, so that's, this is the second set to start, I think they won 6-3. Another one of those continental forehands. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Way to start it off. Especially in the second set, and if I remember correctly, he really started to pick it up at the net and just being ultra aggressive. And that's that's something where I think it's understated. Like, let's let's uh, let's let me speak some truth here. Like, if your partner gets broken all the time, right? It's not necessarily his fault or her fault. Like sometimes it's you. Right? If you're not um, 
not doing a good job being aggressive at the net, you know, then like you're, you're causing them to go for too much sometimes. So that's the opposite of what happened. Uh, I feel like what happened the second set, right? Michael, Michael's play at the net was the reason that I was holding serve. Um, because I, I lost a little bit of confidence uh, here, but um, I think overall you're gonna see him just being really solid and even though he might miss a couple, he's still going for you, going for that. Oh, I wanted that back end. That's one where I shouldn't loop it as much, but I should drive it, so. So notice Corey and Vlad switch sides. Um, so I think this configuration uh, definitely trying to trying to get out wide to Vlad's forehand um, because he likes taking that um, backhand you know, right uh, down the line harder than that player. And here on the ad side, um, I'm going to be kicking it pretty much 100% uh, to the backhand of Corey. The danger of that is if he's able to get around it and smack one of those short angle forehand winners he likes to do. So there, I think I was trying to change of pace and, and go for going for an ace down down the tee. Okay, great shot, Michael. So that second serve was okay. <laughs> and Corey hit a really good return. Um, but Michael, again, he, he saved me with um, his net play. Nice. Yeah. So I could, I, that one I could feel Corey lean in a bit, so I'm just gonna try and make sure I brush up with the ball and go down the line. So, and the thing is like, when you go down the line, you don't necessarily have to hit winners. You just have to force your opponent into a tough volley, which is what I think I did there. said about if you miss with uh, trying to go out wide with him, he could hit that forehand. So that one, a good serve. I was set enough to crush the ball and unfortunately I forgot to hit the ball. <laughs> I really like taking that backhand um, inside out off the side. Yeah, so Vlad. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, uh, <laughs> this is hilarious because that's my shot. I love hitting that drop volley. And Vlad likes the punch one, and he just, um, he used my shot against me. But, um, he, and he did actually better than I would have. There it goes. So I believe the score is 1-1. One, one. That was a really good effort by Michael. 
15. So love 15, one all. I think these these next couple of games are gonna be critical. Um that we need to try and hold serve and, and get an early break. Uh, good shot. And good shot, good shot overall. Great point. I think what um, next time, what I might try doing is do. Good point. I don't know what, what I was doing. I should have crossed. I might try doing some more exotic doubles formations, um, and that's sort of the 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 danger of familiarity. Um, so like these guys already know like what what we're gonna be doing every time. So really trying to mix it up, you know, give them a, a different look. Um, that, that may, that may help. So great return, love 40. So they got the break, they're up 2-1. Um, that was one of those where it's like, we, no. we played a pretty good game, <laughs> but they just played a better one. Thanks. Andy, that was very close. Like, if you got that, I wasn't getting it back. by a lot, sorry, but that was the right idea. I, mean, I love the aggressiveness. Service too good. Right to the body. And I did not move my feet well enough, but it was a really good serve. Great job, Vlad, with your injured shoulder and all. As you can tell, I'm not bitter. So there, there they go. Um, they're up 3-1. Um, so here mentality is just let's keep on holding, keep on holding, and eventually, hopefully, they're gonna make a mistake, right? One of these service games. I think we got an early break in um, the first set. Uh, that was not due to any poor play on their part, but we, we earned that one. Um, but I don't think there's been a break point since. As a reminder, they won the first set 6-3. And now we're down 3-1 in the second. Yeah. So they've all, so when, um, sort of a rule of thumb, when you have a sitter like that, um, and you're at the net, then just go for the other net person right at their feet, at their feet, not at their chest. Unless you don't like them, but, if you don't like them, still go at their feet. It's not a nice thing to do, to hit someone's chest. But I will say though, like, if, um, if I have no choice in terms of if I'm like on the run, like oftentimes we're just trying to flick the ball in. And I think if they're there, if they're there, right, they're there to play. So if, if I hit it at their chest, then you know, that just happens. So good serve by me as trying to mix it up again go to Vlad's strength. But um 
if you if you're gonna go there, then you have to go there with something good. Good first point. I pulled the trigger too early. Actually, um, on second, I mean. If I had the chance again, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I was just like, ah, this point is going too long. Let me try for an impossible down the line winner. So they're serving up 3 2. Um, maybe if I had shown some more patience than that first point, it would have been left 30. But it's 15 all. Four hands in. Oh, couldn't get the third one. Cross court. Well, Vlad positioned himself well. Great angle volley. So now they're up 30 15. Starting to feel the pressure. A little bit disappointed. I felt like. This could have been our chance to, to maybe sneak a break if we've got one of those two long points. Yeah, great shot. I mean, I don't know what you do with that if he's hitting it that hard and deep and flat and low. volley. It wasn't that good, but it was good enough. And that's something that I, I always say, like, you don't have to hit a perfect drop volley. You just kind of just, people have a, a tough time judging depth, including me, right? So if you just put it in play, like, even if they do get it, right, oftentimes they're going to hit a, a pop-up and then you're right at the net to put it away. So... Great job, Vlad, really mixing it up. I think I just missed that one, but... Good aggressive play. So now it's, um... Four. We're serving, down two, four. Again, this hold, we need to hold here to, to keep... To keep within, uh... Um, reach the set. this knot so I'm gonna try and focus on tying this knot and then I'll get back to the commentary. Double not to start. Oh no, this is ugly. Let me 
do it again. a shot like that um, in terms of I mean I've seen like great shots obviously but um, I didn't know that he had that, that slice down the line alright I'm just going to do my normal knot just kind of drive me crazy Sansa does this whole live, sh live string and then um, I strung the mains in like 40 minutes because I'm so slow <laughs> trying to talk and uh, the string as well. I guess he doesn't do the commentary. Okay, now we are... Down three four, good return by me. and double faults it at all this entire match. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous shot I've ever seen. I mean ridiculous as in good. He has fallen away and somehow hit it like a foot from the um, net and right in the doubles alley from the middle of the court. And obviously all that's possible. But um, I think uh, if I split step, maybe I'd have had a better chance. But I mean, I, there's no way to expect that shot. Great shot by Corey. So yeah, they held. And I think that um, a sort of another... I feel like this has happened in a couple of games where we've we've played well, um, but they just they just come up really big on those clutch points. So I believe this is three five. We're trying to I'm trying to serve sustain the set. So I was getting a bit nervous here. Um, the first serve wasn't clicking as as well as it should. But when you, why do you need a first serve if Michael could hit volleys like that with second serves? <laughs> I'm glad, again, as I, as I said, he can rip that return down the line. So that's that ball is coming in with some juice. Um, so a great volley. Um, I did not, I mean, I hit the spot I wanted on the serve. I didn't expect that harder return, but I should have expected it. It wouldn't have made a difference, but because <laughs> he hit it so well. Good volley by me. Yeah, so 
that one. Um, I did a good job uh, volleying a short, so forcing Corey to hit up. Another amazing return. I'm like, what more do I need to do with the surf? <laughs> so, and when when folks are returning like that, like, I feel um, there's a, the temptation to just keep on going for more or to get despondent on your surf. But just realize that you know, just clap, you know, great return, move on and hit your your normal surf. serving up 5-4. So double fault. Um, to tell you the truth, I was hoping that uh, for some more double faults. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who wants to necessarily hit the serves. But Corey uh, turned it around. It just got, that was just wide. And the most important thing you could do after hitting a double fault is to get that next serve in. Right. And that's what he did. He just got it in and started the point and came up with some really solid ground strokes. tried to put a little bit more on that but um, that was an excellent decision to lob it because he instantly went from defense to offense in that move. And I didn't notice this. Michael sort of cheating. Cheating a bit more to the middle. Maybe he's trying to get a, four, a, a backhand. Oh, good. Yeah, nice play. He was able to draw the backhand. So I believe it's 30 all maybe. Yeah. I hate when I shake it on the forehand, but I, that's that's one where like I know that this is sort of my weakness, and he had a really good serve. Um, so you just gotta know that that stuff happens and, and live with it. So Michael here, he's really starting to get the groove with the strokes. Very, very nice deep forehand, um, forcing that air. So deuce. Again, here it goes. Yeah, really down, but I realize that you know I gotta keep on swinging because he can't just I can't just push that ball back um, because Vlad he's taking a really aggressive position with the net. So add in, we go. Michael goes for it and just miss. But great game, great match. Um, six three, six four. I think it was great doubles overall. So a really high level of play. Um, this is Andy from Tennis with Andy. Hope you enjoyed this.